welcome you join me today at the Down Cemetery in Trowbridge we're going to take a little round and see what we can find we'll cross over and away we go Now, as you can see, we have some extremely old gravestones here. We're going to just go back to Victorian times. And we've got some very interesting mausoleum type buildings. Some of these are uh, breaking up quite badly here. So you can see. Family grave starts back in 1896 by the looks of it. Mortimer family, they're a, a Wiltshire name around here. And then a memorial to the Stancombs. There actually is a Stancombe Avenue in Trowbridge. And here we have a little mini Stonehenge type of uh, memorial. This one goes back to the 1930s. These are in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Of course, um, such cemeteries as this are a bit of a haven for wildlife as well, which is rather nice. One is 1885, as you can see. Sadly, like that one, it's knocked over. That's a little bit more recent, 1928. Of course, all of these people had stories to tell. There's uh, probably some much larger structure here at one time, which is now gone. Looking at those metal posts coming out, and then the other structures these cornerstones around the grave and the the back wall there so I imagine it's uh, changed a lot looking at this particular one it would have been some sort of 
far across probably a surrounding fence of some kind that was held up nest box. So you uh, get lots of birds around cemeteries because you'll get a lot of um, small mammals so the birds of prey and the owls will come around. There's another older grave here. Can't see the date exactly. take a look at this down here much more recent the ivy is certainly taking a hold in place isn't it So 1877 and 1880, James Avons and Elizabeth. He was 74, she was 70. Not too bad an age in that era. As the average lifespan has increased somewhat over the years. Chapel there. Of course, sadly, it's amazing how many children didn't make it very far in life in Victorian times with the, all the various ailments that today we take for granted. going back to 1933 onwards, 1984 being the last one. So sadly we find some fall over. There is a, a group called the Friends of the Down Cemetery. We'll pop a link into the description for you. You'll be able to take a look at that. And they produce a newsletter anyone who would like a, a copy you'll be able to download that from their website interesting one here the column has broken I'm going back to 1868 Somebody here died in 1864, born in 1776. So yeah, died nearly 200 years ago. And that, uh, the Reverend John Chettle. And again, getting overgrown, this part of the cemetery. I have another stone here. And read that one for you. And we have Thomas Usher. Now that could well be the Ushers of the uh, Ushers Brewery as one as was. It 
that uh, eventually was taken over by Watney's, then reformed again as Usher's in Trowbridge. Sadly, the brewery is no longer. All the equipment was sold and went off to uh, North Korea, I believe. Give you a sweeping view. There's a more modern extension ahead. We won't go around that one, but we will uh, stick to the older part. Show you as much as we can. This one. That one started in 1918. Quite a few graves, as you know, will have a original occupant, and then as family members die, they buried in the same spot. an area being made over there. I don't know what the uh, little fencing is going to do, a little wildlife area perhaps. We'll take a look. It's a bit squelchy underfoot. We've had uh, a lot of rain. Oh yes, this is going to be a nature patch, which is quite nice, isn't it? And the, uh, the blossom coming out on the trees now. It's uh, March 13th today, so Spring is springing. See the flowers coming up as well. There's many more memorials, some of which are beginning to show their age. has vanished as we can see and uh, more bird boxes The top of that has disappeared over time. Quite likely, I don't know. <coughs> or it could, no, probably always been like that. There's uh, If you ever want a quiet spot to come, then a cemetery is usually a fairly good place. By nature, of course, peaceful. You can hear the birds singing. Okay. And also an alarm going off somewhere. Ah, the joys of modern life. I have this sort of wildlife area around here as well.
a mixture of more recent graves through here. I don't know, do you like walking around cemeteries? Drop me a, a comment. It's always appreciated. And if you're local, there might be names that uh, have appeared on the video that you recognise. carry on along this way. Now as you can see ahead that's the much more recent cemetery so we will move along down through the older part won't be too long before these trees are full of leaves again Another one of these sort of older mausoleum I'd like to show you further ahead. war graves here. Second World War. And, uh, of course wars take lives as we're seeing right now we're in the Ukraine situation over the past few weeks a few more Commonwealth ones these are the lighter colored headstones now here we are take a look at this one And it looks like with the water, we have a slight flood in there. Won't be too healthy, will it? That's a shame. And it uh, looks as though it needs repair. This was a former rector of Trowbridge who had this erected to quite some size.
still older graves here going back 1888, Helicopter going overhead. So this one's for Joseph Ledbury. Goes back to 1873, June the 2nd. He died aged 50. And uh, add to this, someone died. Leslie G Gayton, is that? Caton, died act of service 1916, age 31. Someone else who couldn't enjoy the rest of his life due to war. So it was growing in the trees here. Seventy, born eighteen sixty nine. Ah, now here's another. I think this might have been the, the rectus. So look, the Reverend Thomas. Yes, so this may be uh, what I had in mind rather than the last one. Just check on that. So the Reverend Thomas Kingston of Kalinga came from Ireland. He used to be the vicar of St James Dublin, born January the second, seventeen ninety four, and died March eighteen. 67 March 14th, 1867. Ah, well, it'll be his anniversary tomorrow as I uh, record this. At least this one's not got uh, flooded out. See what it says here. And another one, the Reverend John David Hastings, formerly Vicar of St. Catharines in Dublin. Vector of Trowbridge, died April 13th, 1869. All very interesting. Looks like we've lost some uh, metal railings that used to run through these posts.
course he has a nice bird feeder over there as well, keep the birds happy. make out date on that but it's a pretty old one Again, some very old headstones here. You can uh, see any dates or anything. Nineteen hundred and eight. And then uh, as far as 1941, so several burials in one place. These are around the early 1900s by the looks of it. We've got this one here, which is also 1913. Think something like that, maybe. Age 59 on the right. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to bring you lots of videos, there's plenty on already. 1912. Over the course of this year and going forward, I hope to produce many more, many various places. So I live in Wiltshire so there will be quite a few Wiltshire places but we'll also be going further afield. We'll be covering some of the lovely villages we've got, interesting places, points, countryside and also of course uh, things like old railway tracks, canals and things like that as well we're going to bring to you. It's an interesting one. And that's weathered a lot hasn't it? used to be the uh, sort of cemetery keeper's cottage but it was sold off by the council and we'll just take a look down the avenue from where we started so thank you very much indeed for joining me appreciate your time and I hope you've enjoyed the video do leave a comment below give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel Click the notification bell and you'll be notified every time we go live. Thank you very much indeed. Take care everybody.